10 days later, I once again found myself on the water, this time off the coast of Rhode Island with Joe D'Agostino of Joe Bags Tackle. Even though we were fishing Rhode Island waters, all of the tips and tactics that Joe shared are applicable to bottom fishing on Cape Cod. I would just drop it straight down or throw it, however you do it. How much scope you want me to let out? Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go too far. All right. We kind of want to stay where we are right now. You can clear. So what I'm doing now is just cutting up, throwing some chum in the water. Yeah. Sounds One thing good. about me is I'm a big believer that you chum the water for tog. And what that's going to do is it's going to provide a slick behind you. And it's all those little rock crevices, all the little holes that those big tog hang out in all day long. Because they're smart. They're big. They're big for a reason. They have the genes. They have the whereabouts to know that sharks, bigger fish, and humans are after them. If we can get them out, if we're positioned correctly, 20 minute window when the bigger ones will come in and they'll start feeding. You're going to notice that by the hits, they're going to become solid, they're going to be thuds, they're going to lose the line, your line's going to be like, why do I not feel the jig anymore? Those are going to be the bigger fish. So hopefully we get to experience that today. In addition to chumming, it's important to hook the crab correctly. So I asked Joe if he could share his technique. The intention of this cut is to have the tog eat this direction and get the hook and start slurping it all the way down. Oh, interesting. So you've hooked that crab a special way right there. Correct. Think the color of the jig matters? Uh, I think the brighter the better for Tog. It'll, obviously the set in the water of the crab definitely is uh, an attractant. You have any favorite colors? Green you and like orange. them all? Green and orange. Uh, my buddy Alex that fishes with me loves the green crab. My buddy Rich, who's often on this boat, is a white lager fan. Hmm. So, I mean, I'm a tiger and a green and orange fan. So, pretty much the four colors we have, I have there's fans of every, every color. Right. <laughs> that was a good bite. Sorry, that's my, that's my miss them dance. We soon had a mixed bag of species beneath the boat, and it wasn't long until Joe hooked the first tautog of the day. There we go. I had to warm up. Got one? Small. But eh, it could be a keeper. You keeping them today? I would love to keep maybe two. Okay. Good start. Not a bad start to the day. First tog. It's probably like 15 and a half, maybe 16 and a half inches. Missing a bunch of them down there. You look at the screen, it's lit up. But two ounce lay perfect, green and orange. Perfect hook set. Catching Tog. Tot Tog can be a challenge to hook. So I asked Joe if he could share his technique. I'm telling you the biggest trick to catching Tog is the six inch lift. So I'm lifting and then I'm putting it back down. You can feel the Tog crushing at it a little bit. See how he's hitting it? See it? The rod tip bending. And all I'm doing is lifting it up like six inches. And eventually, what's gonna end up happening is I'm gonna win. It's just a matter of time. And I already got picked off. And then as soon as you feel that extra weight, that's when you set the hook. Because if you set the hook on every bite, you're gonna drive yourself insane all day long. So we're going back to a chum cut, which is halfway out. All these guts are gonna go into the water and release the scent down current. We're gonna pitch it back in. We're gonna do the same thing. At this point, we know the weight with a chunk of crab in the jig by lifting it. We're gonna wait until we feel a tog picking at it. And all I'm doing is after he hits it, you could see the rod tip going. I was late on that one. I was really late. So wait to feel just a little bit of weight. Yeah, so like right now, it's okay to have the fish picking at it. Let them pick at it. Lift it up a little bit. Like, take it away from them. Like, because down there, it's probably not the only tog you're going to see. 
right? There's probably going to be 30 or 40 of them down there at any given time. So think about that. You're in a competitive environment. You could do what you want with that crab. You could pull it away from them. You could let them chew on it. You could do virtually whatever you want. Lots of marks on the sonar. There we go. Oh, wow. Not a big fish. Might actually be a sea bat. Nah. Nope, it's a tug. Beauty. Nice little guy. Oh yeah. The Tautauk were biting well. And we were also catching some nice scout. The fish weren't huge, but the action was fast and furious. But little did I know, we were about to add an unexpected species to the list. Waiting for the hit. Feel the weight. Set the hook. And we're hooked up. Just take your time bringing the fish up. Oh, this is a little different. Cod. Codfish. That's a pretty Look good size. bad boy. It's a nice little 23, 24 inch codfish. Look at that. We were just talking about this too, how That's you can sweet. catch a codfish down there. Quite the mixed bag today. Yeah, that's a big cod for here too. Not gonna lie. That could be a boat's personal best over here where we're fishing. That's awesome. Nice Beautiful fish. fish. Yeah. Beautiful Very nice. fish. What's the uh, minimum size on those? I think it's 21. Could be 22, but this is definitely makes the cut either way. Oh yeah. Well, I'll happily take them home unless you want them. No, I think. Uh, you're gonna have yourself some codfish. Sweet. I like that. I knew there was a bigger fish down there. Nice. That's so cool, such a mixed bag. Love this area. It had been a beautiful October day. The weather and the fish were both cooperating. And despite dropping a few overboard, I would still be going home with plenty of fresh fish. Hey guys, welcome back to the Goose Hummock Shop here in Orleans. Today I have Ian McPartland. Ian, as always, thank you for being part of the segment. It's a pleasure. So in today's episode, I was fishing with Joe from Joe Bags Lures, mm. and we have a plethora of some of his products here, which you carry at the Goose Hummock. Absolutely. So why don't we start over here on the left? What have you got here? We've got his, uh, his cog jigs here. This uh, orange and green is like absolutely just the best catcher. I absolutely swear by that. Imitates those crab very, very well and have great success on them. Uh, his sand eels, so this is um, his paddle tail with the jig head and then they have like the pre-molded ones that are kind of like a new arrival around the shop. They look very juicy. And we got his flukies, it's absolutely for fluke and uh, sea bass equally as well. And then uh, we've done a previous video with the Schwarter, absolute classic. Um, I kind of like hybrid SP, mag darter, very good. Uh, I've had great success with the larger sizes. And we also have this peanut bunker mm. resin jig, which came out last year. Yep. Have you been able to fish these at all? Uh, yes, I actually have a couple of the pink and then a couple of the white or like bone glow colors. Um, they just work awesome. Everybody knows I'm addicted to the albies. So. Right. So for the albies, we've got the peanut bunker jig here. Mm. We've got Swarters for stripers, mm -hmm. flukies yep. for fluke and sea bass, sand eels for stripers, yep. obviously the light perfect jigs for tog. Well, thank you for taking us through this. Hey, no problem. As always, I appreciate it. Pleasure, Ron. Cape Cod is home to the region's most beautiful beaches, ponds, and natural habitats. As anglers, we often find ourselves fishing in these special spots. This season, I'm asking you to join me in picking up trash and plastic whenever you see it while out fishing. Picking up trash while fishing might not solve all environmental issues, but it's a simple way for us anglers to help make a difference. I hope you enjoyed today's episode 
of My Fishing Cape Cod TV. I know I had a great time putting it together and I appreciate you watching. Right now, I'd like to invite you to head over to myfishingcapecod.com and start a membership if you haven't already done so. Members of myfishingcapecod.com get access to more information, more fishing reports, more videos, all of our private forums, and a lot more than I can possibly fit into this quick little segment. Your first 30 days of membership is just $1. Ongoing membership is $9.99 per month, and you can cancel anytime. So thanks again for watching, tight lines take care, and hopefully I'll see you over on the website as a member.